Hello, everyone. Welcome. I'm Angelia, the face and creator of Ancestors Mama, and today we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. I was called and nudged by spirit and my ancestors to do a reading from our ancestors for this Capricorn full moon. And before we get into it, I just want to um, share a little bit of a story time. So normally uh, the way I start my mornings is I'll go meditate do a reading and journal and whatnot and sit at my altar. But today I was guided to go outside instead and do some yoga and exercise and really ground my energy. And so a lot of the times as a channeler, as a vessel, I am given certain initiations and I have to live through certain experiences to give the wisdom, the medicine that I receive myself as a channeler, as a vessel to help others with my intuition and so that's exactly what happened today as I went outside I did some yoga and I was noticing some themes come up inside and uh, I was nudged to you know go outside and really release I've been doing some clearing and really release by just being physical by being present outside and so I then pulled the cards that you see Right now, uh, you know, I channeled some messages and I wrote them down. Um, if you're on my email list, you are probably uh, already got the email or about to receive it. Um, where I go a little bit more in depth of um, the energy of the Capricorn full moon in relation to our connection with our ancestors and clearing generational trauma and whatnot. And so it's so funny because this reading literally reflects the channel messages that I was receiving and so spirit my ancestors and my spiritual team they were showing me how a lot of times unfortunately just you know just just by habit that we we said we tend to put things on the back burner like we'll have certain memories come up and you know, if it's a painful memory or something that we're insecure about that we just ignore, ignore, ignore. And so what they were calling me to to show you and share with you is about this process of going deep with our emotions since we're in cancer season, which is all about coming home, heart, love, support, nurturing our ancestral ties, generational trauma and things of that nature and safety, support and protection. And so I've been really sitting with this energy of, wow, something was knocking. (laughs) Uh, Because I'm a Capricorn myself, and this is something that a life lesson I'm having to learn in understanding um, the steadiness, the groundedness, the lessons and everything. And I was also given this symbology of the the devil card in tarot because it is associated with Capricorn and Saturn. And so what they were showing me is, you know, a lot of times our our need to numb, to distract ourselves, any addictions, any self-sabotaging behaviors or one out are coming from this shadow, our shadow self, where we try to hide our emotions. We bury, we brush things under the carpet, if you will, and bury them, and ignore them. And this Capricorn full moon, Capricorn super moon is an opportunity to go deeper into those emotions and really face ourselves because healing, whole healing is about integration. It's about accepting both sides of ourselves. It's about accepting the light and the dark. It's about accepting all the things that we were made to believe were bad about ourselves. Because the more we deny aspects of ourselves, the more we numb the pain, the more we distract ourselves, the more we do things that are self-sabotaging, such as procrastinate or go to certain habits and addictions that we know are bad for us or going to back to certain relationships because we've been told, for example, um, you know, maybe you you had a certain type of childhood and it made you believe a certain way about yourself and you keep attracting this type of partner and it's a cycle and a pattern that tends to repeat itself. And so what Spirit was showing me in order to break the chains, in order to break these cycles and toxic patterns, we really need to go deep into our shadow. And so this deck that I'm working with right here is the Borikin Oracle deck. 
um, because I am Puerto Rican. And so uh, me being Puerto Rican, working with the medicine of my ancestors. And so this card says, let's see if this, it does not, it's not gonna, but it is Diosa Luna. Uh, moon goddess reminds us reminds you not to ignore your emotions sit with them when they surface feel lesson but do not run from them your shadow exists not to terrify you but to teach you how to cope and tame your fears and so that's what they were showing me myself as well through my own experience there were certain memories that kept coming up and one of which i i remember from a young age um, at one point in my life, I went to a school where my brother and I and our neighbors like were one of very few um, Hispanics in the school and everybody else was white. And I felt very insecure about that. And at that age, that was the first memory I felt ugly. I was made in front of, I was bullied. And I carried that with me for a very long time. The spirit was showing me this memory, you know, because every time I, you know, a self-sabotaging behavior, for example, every time I call myself ugly or I think I'm too fat or whatever the case may be, you know, we all have these insecurities and we, we doubt ourselves and we belittle ourselves. That's when we keep the bondage of this unhealthy, toxic cycle repeated in our mind's eye. And, you know, it. I was already thinking of the devil card when I was going through this process myself. But of course, synchronistically, El Diablo, the devil card came out as well. And it says, El Diablo, the devil, represent toxic ties, addiction, bondage, manipulation, and self-sabotage behaviors. You are in control of your own life and you are not bound by anything other than your own behavior. Free yourself. And so with these two cards together, I was like, you know, this is actually how they were pulled, but I was called to pull them from right to left <clears throat> instead of left to right. And the reason being because in order to get to this, this space of awakening, of hearing the messages clearly, we need to accept all aspects of ourselves, the good, the bad and ugly in order to transcend because all parts of ourselves are worthy and only when we accept and embrace the parts of ourselves that were deemed unacceptable by others or ourselves, our own insecurities. That's when we can truly transcend and, and grow and evolve as sovereign beings. But there is a devil inside of all of us and all of us are tempted, you know, to numb, to distract and do those things of that nature in order to just get by in life. It's a natural coping mechanism, right? But what spirit is telling us is to sit in solitude and in, in integrating our shadow in integrating the ugly parts of ourselves that we not we don't like to admit the self-sabotaging behaviors, those learned behaviors from generations, you know, from our parents, from our grandparents and whatnot, telling us that we have to be our set a certain way to deny ourselves to um, just brush our feelings under the carpet and deny them and bury them. That in order to transcend these things, in order to have full, wholehearted healing and growth, we need to sit in this time of solitude. And what I was thinking as well when I was sitting is this is the sun and our sacral chakra, our inner compass, what nudges us with that little insight of intuition, that gut feeling that we have. And we can only hear the clear messages from our ancestors, from our higher self and our spiritual team in this time of solitude. We, When we allow ourselves to quiet the mind, quiet the chaos, quiet the pain. But again, this only comes from sitting with ourselves and not silencing it not bypassing it but fully enmeshing in it in order for to hear the wisdom to hear the messages in those insecurities in those limiting beliefs in those old bondages and chains that have been holding us back for so long because in order to move to a new chapter in order to move to the next stage of our life we have to really fully integrate and learn the lessons for our soul's growth and evolution 
And again, we can only do that when we have that quiet time with ourselves to awaken, to open our mind's eye. And this says a spiritual awakening, clarity and or consciousness is on the horizon. This card represents the blindfold being lifted and finally being able to see this, the truth, a wake up call. And I, and I was talking about a soul's truth, our soul's truth, because a lot of times, a lot of these insecurities, they don't come from us. They come from other people what we're told is acceptable what we're told we have to be in order to be loved in order to be to be supported and i feel as though as much as you know these emotions and these old memories or these self-sabotaging behaviors are coming up to the surface there's also this underlining feeling of something beyond something just beyond the horizon but in order not to sabotage those things and in order to have real belief that a miracle is on the way or whatever manifestation or your soul's desires on the way we have to face our fears we have to face our shadows and not have an ego death as if our ego is not part of us as if our ego is not allowed to come with us it is part of us because it's always showing us and in order for us to be awakened to be um, in alignment with our soul's truth our inner compass and our higher self we have to learn this the lessons through our shadows through our old limiting beliefs through these these toxic chains and cycles that are repeated and also if you're on the path of generational healing of connecting with your ancestors the only way we can understand the the other side of what's right for us is understanding those toxic chain cycles and patterns that are deeply rooted in our family that's been occurring for generations that's the only way we can have this illumination if you will and that's what full moons are all about they're all about illuminating the darkness the shadow in order for us to see what's happening on a subconscious level that's holding us back holding us hostage right and so i also want to pull from these cards i already cleared cut and um bless them and so what i what i have intention for these cards is these are the um mystical shaman oracle deck and so with these cards i want to invite all our ancestors our guides our spiritual team our higher self our inner child to give us the messages the the, the wisdom the medicine that we need in clearing this negativity and clearing these old sabotaging beliefs that weigh us down that make us feel in fear these memories that come up that make us feel insecure once more um yeah so first card that got pulled is curse and the second is flow one more spirit as i put my ego to decide to be a clear channel and vessel for any messages anyone needs to know in here Okay, so this is actually my second time filming. Let's see if we can put this in the view. Um, and these three cards, let's move this one. Right here, flow, ego, and the child's eye received the first time filming and my camera kept cutting out. So this is the second time filming, but everything happens for a reason because this card came out and this card did not come out at first. And so this card, curse. This is talking about what I was telling you. Notice how she has something wrapped around her mouth. And the curse is silencing ourselves. This curse is those times and those memories or those people that make us believe like in order to feel acceptable, in order to feel worthy, in order to receive blessings and move on and be successful or whatever the case may be, that we need to hide and silence parts of ourselves that are deemed unworthy and that's the curse and a lot of times this is a generational curse this is things that happen generationally about stuff we don't talk about and you know what goes on in the house stays in the house and you know those things that people our family may say gaslighting us saying that you know oh we're just playing around or things like that those are things that might be coming up to the surface and these are things that ha happen that are they're a pattern they're a generational pattern that keeps happening that you know it's your family so you just have to deal with it or you know if it's friends or if it's like the memory that I talked about it's something small you know it just happened from my childhood it's not that serious but the curse is and the curse is only repeated when we silence ourselves in our way in that way because that spirit our ancestors our higher self nudging us 
to look more deeply within the shadows, the parts of ourselves that we feel like are ugly, that there's something wrong with, or if we just cast it aside, they don't exist. But that's that's the way the curse continues. And in order to release these things, to surrender these things, notice how, you know, she's behind, she's in front of a full moon and she's holding water is to be in flow and surrender to our emotions. Because a lot of times our emotions are our inner compass and they're guiding our way. And unfortunately at this time too, because with full moons, our emotions can come up to the surface and they can become erratic. And we can be so enmeshed in our emotions that we also don't see things. Thus, coming from a place when we keep ignoring things, that things boil up to the surface. And in order to calm the waters within us, we have to sit with ourselves, like I said, and really sit deep with our emotions. And also, healing doesn't only occur on an individual level. You know, if you have any family, any friends, any people of support, or if it's just your ancestors and your spiritual team, to surrender these fears, surrender these blockages, these shadows, these aspects of ourselves that we feel are ugly in order to gain a new perspective. And that's what the ego medicine is showing us. And that's the key and the whole point to this full moon is to gain a greater perspective, not only of ourselves, but of our light of our path, of where we're going, of who we're meant to be, the whole purpose of our being, our medicine, and what we came here to be. Because we can never know that if we keep hiding aspects of ourselves that may seem on the surface ugly, bad, or whatever the case may be, but they're our own medicine in order to awaken a certain part of ourselves that would not be awakened otherwise. And then the last card right here from this deck is the child. And the way through this is connecting with our inner child because a lot of times, just like the phases of the moon, you know, that's being shown around the child, a lot of times our inner child shows us phases of ourselves that we have hidden, phases of ourselves that we have casted to the side because we that's what we're taught by society. That's what we're taught by our family a lot of times. Um, and we continue that cycle we continue that pattern of silencing our child, of silencing our emotions every time we deny our feelings, every time we deny our emotions, every time we deny those memories of our inner child, like they don't affect us. A lot of times our inner child is is guiding the way to who we are because as we're when we're children, we don't know any better of how the world is conditioned, that we have to be behave a certain way. There's something innate in us already that's instinctual that we know it just feels right. And so in order to, to have that part of ourselves integrated and fully connected with ourselves again, we have to listen to our inner child, how we silence our inner child so we can gain that lightness, that 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 lightness that like spark that we all had as children um to show us to lead us the way in breaking these bonds and breaking these toxic cycles but also to show us who we really are as people because the point is to come back to ourselves and speaking of purpose i'm pulling from the life purpose deck as well to show us any more medicine what is the point of this full moon in capricorn what are our ancestors our guides wanting us to know at this time for this, the healing and the medicine and the wisdom for this Capricorn full moon and integrating our emotions and integrating our shadow, integrating our ego. So the first card that came up is light and love healer. Let's pull one more. I feel like one more wants to come out. And then we'll get into the messages. One more card as I put my ego to the side and ask all of our ancestors, our guides, to channel through me to give us clear message for all of us to hear right now at the time of the Capricorn Super Full Moon. What's funny is I pulled different cards when I was first filming, so I'm wondering if that's going to come out again. Okay, so the first card that came up was Light and Love, and then Healer. 
These two cards did not come up the first time I was shuffling, but these two cards did as my camera came out, uh, cut out again, but it's okay. So what they're showing me, the whole purpose, because my intention with the life purpose deck was to see the purpose of the medicine, the wisdom that's being shown to us at this time for this Capricorn full moon. And the purpose is to come back to our light. You know, as we integrate our shadows, it is to, sh to show us also our light and love to come back to our soul's inner truth and remember that light and love is the only true thing and not everything is going to be rainbows and sh sunshine but the whole point of us seeing and witnessing our own pain is to come back to this love and this light this innocence of who we were as children before the world told us who to be right and our purpose is to spread our own unique expression of light and love and in order to do that we have to we have to heal and integrate those shadows that make us feel as though we're not good enough, you know, to heal these these generational cycles that keep repeating of family uh, diminishing one another, of belittling one another and making us feel like, you know, we're only worthy if we do certain things and then we're deemed lovable or that's, you know, we're only going to be good if we're successful or if we have a husband or wife or whatever the case may be to heal these old toxic patterns that keep repeating that hold us bondage that we know are not for our highest good that's our purpose a lot of times us empaths us healers we're given uh, a lot of these experiences to integrate them to heal them for not only future generations but to come to who we really are through these life experiences and to know that we're on the right path and i pulled this card uh last time i filmed when i filmed the first time and so what I, when I see this angel, I just, I see how free she is. You know, she's basking in the sun rays. And when I'm looking at the rainbow that's going down on her, I'm reminded of our chakras, of everything being unblocked. You know, that is the, the ultimate goal, right? To be so free of ourselves and that these blocks and these old things that have been weighing us down no longer hold us back no longer chain us and that we are free to be ourselves and we're also we're, we're also basking in the sun in alignment not only with our own our soul's inner truth but alignment with the divine with spirit but spirit is is wanting us and nudging us to be our own authority to be our own leader not to have these old memories of what what has been holding us back for so long dictate who we are but to free ourselves from the shackles of the pain of the trauma in order to be our own authority and to be in alignment of our soul's truth and what we came here to do so i'm gonna ask from these dice that i also got with the borinkin oracle deck any other messages that spirit our ancestors our angels our guides our whole spiritual team want us to know for our soul's evolution and growth at this time of immense healing for this Capricorn super full moon. I like to kiss my dice. So. This, the 55, every time I see 5-5, five, five, um, it reminds me of change. That change is on the way. And... I'm reminded of this uh, card that I was talking about before and how we, we can almost peel back the layer and peel the curtain and we see something is on the way. We feel we feel this inside like something is rumbling to the surface and there is change on the way with this confirmation of, of yes. But when we're in flow of life, of healing, of surrendering, of uh, aligning with our emotions, of listening to our emotions. And so... And so if this is something like you would like to go deeper on and you're interested in working with me, I will link down below. I'm opening up a new service for full moon readings and it's going to be on sale for this full moon only where you can get a 30 minute reading slash healing session. And I will also be doing a ritual that's uh, unique to your needs for this full moon and clearing anything. And speaking of clearing if you you know want to work with any type of anointing oil or anything like that right here i do have my homemade florida water 
or Agua de Florida, which I do channel everything I make. I channel with my ancestors and my guides. And speaking of clearing negativity, I'm adding newly. I'm going to be charging this for the Capricorn full moon. Um, this has been sitting a while in oil. My ruda or ru oil. This is about clearing any negativity, any blocks or anything like that. And yeah, if you are on my email list, which you probably saw, I talk a little bit more in depth with some journal prompts about these things and give you guys some book recommendations and some exercises that you'll be doing. Speaking of which, I want to add also because Capricorn is such a physical earthly sign to make sure that we're grounding ourselves through this process. Um, I was Spirit was telling me that breath work is extremely important right now. And I think that's what they're talking about also as well with this flow um, breath work to release our emotions. And yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope that, you know, something, something sparked in you with this reading. You know, I hope it resonated. Let me know down in the comments below how this resonated and, and how this landed with you and what you'll be working with and what you'll be integrating for this Capricorn full moon in order to eradicate these, uh, sabotaging beliefs that's been holding us back for so long and i wish you so much luck love and healing on your journey and i will catch you on the next one take care